Hey Breaking Sports fans, I just could not help myself. We've got another mail video coming for you guys here right now. Um, I know I uploaded one a little bit earlier today. It was actually from a couple of weeks ago. And we actually got some fresh stuff in today. So we're going to get right into it because let's face it, I'm a fiend and I can't stop buying sports cards. And I want to share what I am getting with all of you guys. So... Let's see what we've got in the most recent mailbag here. Special delivery from Panama City Beach, Florida. Big stack of cards tonight. We've actually got some basketball for you guys. Maybe not yet. Here we've got 1997 Ken Griffey Jr. Metal Universe. These have actually taken a little bit of a dip here recently. Um, I'm hoping that they stick around as far as value, but I bought quite a few of those for around $20, $30 mark. Um, they're hovering around $15, $20 right now, but I think long-term they're going to end up being back up where they were before. Market's kind of flooded right now. But that's something to consider whenever you're looking at new hot cards. Obviously, people are going to be going looking back in their collection. Um, with those metal cards, there's a lot of those cards that obviously were produced, so it's not really something that's rare, so to speak. Uh, what do we got here? We got Derek Jeter. This is going to be a metal card. This is a 96 metal Jeter and an extremely yellowed top loader. We're going to go ahead and get that guy out of there. It really detracts from the whole look of the card. Much better looking, obviously, out of the case. We'll get that in a fresh top loader and a fresh penny sleeve, actually, whenever we get done with the video here. That's a very nice card. And actually, here in that other case, almost missed out on the 96 Ken Griffey Jr., which is, in my opinion, a much better looking and a much more valuable card than that 1997. So... Make sure you keep a close eye on your packages and you don't miss anything. Let's see what we got here next. This looks like a CD type package. This is actually a really good way to package cards. Um, if you're selling, because you only have to pay your normal stamp. Obviously there was no tracking or anything with this, which is something some people could frown upon, but you know, not something I'm super worried about. And we got a 1990 Bo Jackson. It's the Bo Nose card. I've bought a ton of these recently. Um, just hoping to be able to get good grading on these. Centering looks pretty good on this one. Corners look good, just upon eyesight, but obviously we'll look at that a little bit closer under some magnification and everything, and hopefully that one turns out if it's something that's gradable. As I mentioned before, those cards graded have huge value. So that's what we're hoping with that with that one. So maybe we got a lot here. Some nice foam padding. Snip that right up there. Very interesting way to package your cards here. In a plain white envelope, after your padded envelope. Oh, nice. I'm really surprised that these guys aren't in individual penny sleeves. And we'll have to look and see the condition of the individual cards because I paid $100 for this pack of cards, this set of cards. And then we've got all the cards in here just lined up. No penny sleeves, nothing. But as you can see, it's like an acetate, see-through, stained glass type look. Um, Gallery of Heroes, but this is the entire set from this year. So there's Griffey. Um, there's going to be a Jeter here. Tons of really nice cards in this set. we got a Barry Bonds.
Got A Rod. Just gorgeous cards. I think I got these for a steal, honestly, for the entire set. Um, especially with the 90s cards coming up in value. We got the big hurt Frank Thomas. We're going to have to go through each and every one of these. Nomar Garcia Parra. Mark McGuire hitting the long ball. Look for him in that upcoming um, 30 for 30 series. Mike Piazza, Hall of Famer. Kyle Ripken. The caliber of players in this insert set is just ridiculous. Jose Cruz Jr., one that's not super exciting. Um, for me, just being an Astros fan, Jeff Bagwell is a really nice card. The one and only Chipper Jones. Gorgeous. Another Texas guy here. Juan Gonzalez. Hideo Nomo. Very big back in his heyday. And Greg Maddox. It's a wonderful set there. We're going to get those all sleeved and top loaded. Um, not really sure why they shipped them with no penny sleeves or anything. That's kind of strange, honestly. Um, but really happy with that purchase. So we'll get a closer look at all those cards too and make sure that they're in good shape. Dig way down deep in here. It's a big padded envelope for this. Oh, very nice. Okay. So this was a lot that I picked up. Honestly, I was looking at these Cal Ripken Juniors, the Diamond Heroes. I just think this is a really cool set. Reminds me of the Net Marvels um, that got really hot with LeBron and Zion. And when you can get one like a Cal Ripken Jr., obviously an all time great in the MLB. It's a really great card. We've also got another metal insert. Here's the um, universal language. And then I picked up a metal card just since this, this guy had this card for sale. It's a Gary Payton 97, 98 metal, which is like the, um, the iconic set for the NBA. I just figured, hey, why not get this card whenever it was like two or three bucks? So, really nice pickup on that. Michael Jordan's, um, Michael Jordan's, Kobe Bryant's, Tim Duncan has a rookie card in that set. It's a really, really nice set, a really expensive set. I've been looking at trying to buy a complete set, and they're probably seven, eight hundred dollars at this point. All right, and then we got Investacard. Um, this is a seller you can look out for. They submit a lot of cards to SGC grading for their um, for their clients, essentially. And the SGC cards for basketball, I think, are way undervalued right now. So a Zion, or excuse me, a John ja Morant, um, 1920 Prism rookie. You can see here the centering is off, um, which is probably why this got a nine. So corners edges surface and everything else are probably really great but the centering is a little off so i got a sgc9 but i think these cards are going to be very valuable in the future and i think sgc is going to really come up as far as um, their clout within the hobby got a couple more here to go we're going to clean off some of this extra junk that we got going on here just to make things a little more tidy let's see what else we got we got two or three more packages to go all right we got a lebron james so crunch time this is one of his 2019 2020 inserts might not spend too much time on here honestly they got this packaged up nice with some uh, painter's tape, which if you're gonna put tape on your top loaders, you wanna do painter's tape. Don't do scotch tape. Don't do packing tape. 
um, all those other tapes leave a lot of residue on the top loaders. This painter's tape, which it looks like they have some other tape on here too, but this painter's tape is the best thing to do to not leave a bunch of residue. And then we've got the Craftsman insert as well. So I think I paid about $30 for these two. Um, these peaked at about 50, 60 bucks, and it was a very quick peak. So you gotta really stay on top of the market. If you're wanting to buy and flip cards, you gotta stay in tune with it. Uh, it took me a little while to get these in. So uh, I bought these at about $30 total. Was hoping that I could sell this LeBron for about $50, but it's already come back down. Uh, long term, I think it's going to be a good hold, but short term, it's not going to be a good flip now just because it took so long to get these cards in. That being said, buying LeBron James is never a bad purchase. So still happy with that purchase. Just not something I'm going to flip. You know, I'm not going to turn around and sell it on eBay right now and make two or three times my money like a lot of things that you're seeing these days. Very nice. We saw earlier, John Morant Prism. Here we've got the Optic. This is a BGS, obviously, uh, BGS 9.5. This is gonna be the one with no subgrades. So it's a cheaper submission for whoever's submitting the card. You don't know um, exactly what they graded, the corners, the edges, the surface, but overall, it was a 9.5 and that's good enough for me. I mean, I bought this a little bit lower than what you would pay for a true Jim Mint BGS card, so I'm happy with it. Um, make sure if you're buying a card with no subgrades that you're getting it a little bit lower than what the market is for a card with subgrades, just because they are a little less desirable. Um, but for him, if he if he wins Rookie of the Year, you know that you've got a good investment in that card. Last package here. It's a thick one, might be another graded card. It's sad when you buy so many cards you don't know exactly what you're getting, but you know, that's just kind of the state of things right now. I'm buying things rapid fire on eBay and they come in whenever they come in, so. Nope, not gonna be a graded card. We've got a couple of Griffies. So as you guys know, if you've been paying attention to my channel, uh, if you follow me on Instagram, I am all about buying Griffies up right now. And honestly, I think it's just the beginning for him and his rise um, as far as card values. I actually submitted a couple of things to BGS recently. So we've got the EX 2001 Acetate card. You can see a little bit of damage here in the top as far as that color is concerned. Um, corners look really good where I've seen some damage on the corners on some of these cards that I've bought. But if you can get these for like 10 bucks, it's no, it's no comparison, but Jordan's going for like 50, $60 in this exact same card. So I think Griffey's going to be um, at least like a $20, $30 card. And then we've got two of the 97 metal just stacking these metal cards up right now. I mean, honestly, I've got a whole box of the metal cards just looking at some to get graded, looking at some to keep, looking at some to flip. Um, with the metal cards, tons of potential on those. So thanks, guys, for stopping by. Hit the subscribe button, hit the like button. Tell me what you like best out of what I bought. You know, do you like the Griffies? Um, do you like the Jaws that I got? Do you think, hey, uh, maybe that's not the best thing you can get. Maybe it's the LeBron's kind of spreading things out. So if you're looking at investing, you want to make sure that you are spreading things out, right? Not just basketball, not just baseball. Spread it out to the different sports, different players. Um, hit that notification bell too whenever you subscribe. That way you see my new content and I will be coming back at you with some box breaks. Uh, we've got the 2020 Bowman Jumbo coming out really soon. Actually, I think this is going to be tomorrow. So make sure that you stay tuned for that. And I would love to hear your feedback down below. So thanks guys. We'll see you real soon. Bye.